Traders Bitcoin monthly time frame. Those of you into the diagonals, the last time we touched this level back in here, for example, we had a pretty significant pullback. Look how overextended this is currently. So I think it would be prudent to be really careful at the moment and uh, don't go buying into this, this all-time high. Smart money will buy at a discount. They have enough capital to move the market. If we pick up a Fibonacci and pull it from this low to high, if I was smart money and I'm not, I'd be looking to pull this back down into these levels here for another accumulation. So we have the monthly, I mean, this is going out, uh, you know, looking at the big picture, but all you have to do is see when we've had a drive like this, like this drive here, extended drive to the upside, again here, back here, uh, one, two, three. So this is the fourth big move monthly. I'd say be really careful, guys. So that's the monthly time frame. Let's just work our way down and I'll give you my take on a uh, trade ID. Even if you look at this from a weekly perspective, right? There's our balance area or value area low. Fibonacci low to high. I'm always looking for a discount. Well, not always. I mean, I will trade breakouts, but even, even on the weekly time frame, this here is discounted. You don't want to be buying at a premium. Yeah, you have to be patient, sit back and wait for it, and the opportunities come. Okay, so that's looking at it from the higher time frame perspective. Three drive pattern, are we seeing that? One, two, three. Well, I mean, you could probably argue that. Five wave pattern, this is, that's all going on. I think what I'm getting at is that this is well and truly overextended. It's pulling into all-time highs. Look at it. Let's look at this price action. Now, if you're into things like the anchored VWAP, for example... Okay, so we're, we're overextended on the uh, daily time frame. The anchored VWAP is showing uh, that we are, eh, well, we were what, two deviations out and it's pulled back now into one deviation out. I always like to see a, a pullback into the, uh, into, the, into the mean. Guys, I'm looking at something like this and that coincides with if we grab our FIB. What have we got here at daily? Well, we've got this value area down here, low to high. 50% Fibonacci, and it coincides with, there's our anchored VWAP right there. All right, so if we were content to continue that, let's just grab a, a pencil. No, it kind of works out. So, I mean, that's what I'm looking at on the uh, daily now. If we go down to a four hour, it's going to be much the same story. And look at this price action here. Okay, so here's the thing regarding price action. Strong momentum. Now, this is accumulation down here. Okay, everybody jumps in. It's heading to the moon. They're all going to be rich. And we get a, a, a really shallow pullback and, and it extends. We get a bigger pullback, extends again, and then we get yet a bigger pullback. So the pullbacks are starting to increase all right we we can see this trend starting to lean over all right now those of you into head and shoulders patterns and what have you well i'm sure you could argue there's a head and shoulder a bearish head and shoulders what i'm mainly interested in is this level under here is the draw on liquidity if this is bearish and it has been right so we had a, a shift in the trend change of character here lower high done lower high lower low right there okay that's the shift and now this is potentially gearing up for a break of market structure if it continues south now for me a true break of market structure would really occur down around these lows here on the four hour time frame so i'm watching this for a potential pullback possibly i mean it may or may not but you know there's a four hour order block that we could consider 4h just be careful with this at the moment, guys. It's showing signs of weakness, right? So the trend, you know, here's the thing too. I'm just going to draw something for you. Let's grab that thing. Okay, strong trend, right? It pushes up. We get these pullback. Pushes up, pullback. Okay, and then what happens? It starts to, you know, it starts to wane. And you see it kind of leaning over and, you know, and these, these pullbacks get a bit deeper, something like that. All right, so this is the structure that I'm seeing at the moment in, in, the, uh, in the chart. All right, so it's, it's, it's telling me that this could be like, look, look at all this through here, all this price action. Look, it could be they're accumulating. Oh, we don't know what smart money are doing. All right, we don't. It could be an accumulation, but it also could be a distribution. They bought, all right, they piled in 
long down around here. This All this through here was Mark Money basically working their orders into the order book for this outcome. Now, that to me looks like potential distribution. So let's just uh, get a bit closer to it. I won't be buying in, into this. It's overextended. This is this is a, a buying at a premium. I want to buy at a discount. I mean, look, we could even pull up, you know, fib from here to here, and that that would be a discounted zone. Let's just go to the daily and look at that, and then we'll come back and I'm going to map out a uh, a, a plan. All right, Th this is the the trading range that I'm interested in. This low to high, that. That is significant. And on the daily time frame, this is your bullish order block way back in here. These red candles make up a, a bullish order block. This is institutional price action. All right, They are uh, forcing the market down into liquidity and then bang, up it goes. It's an order block. There's uh, consecutive red candles followed by trade with speed, right? This bullish imbalance. Okay, so that then confirms that this is a you know an accumulation range through here a hundred percent in my opinion i would just mark that up daily order block 1d off it goes it trades with a vengeance and i'm always looking at where they accumulated looking at the the range low to high so there's the low there's the high right this is the dealing or the the the, the trading range and then fibonacci low to high i'll accumulate back down here that's my plan of attack with Bitcoin. I won't be buying it at a premium. So the discounted zone is located anywhere under this 50% of the Fibonacci range. Okay, all right. So th this shaded zone is is what I'm interested in. But you know, don't forget we've got this imbalance under here that could be a target. We could get a deep pullback. We could get a deep pull. You know, don't underestimate how far this thing can move, guys. Definitely don't underestimate. Let's just measure this high to low. All right. Let's grab that. Okay. That's what I'm getting at. There it is. Something like that. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to see a pretty deep pullback. Now, plan of attack. I mean, I would in, uh, consider counter trend trading this. Let's go down to a 30 minute time frame. And this is the uh, the price action that I'm looking for. See how we have this, this range. Well, all through here. But you want to pick up these lows. That's key. That's a key area. And then the highs. I'll just grab the candle bodies. If we see a break under here and a retest and fail here, right, that could be a cue. The next target level is going to be, well, you've got on the four hour, no, 30 minute time frame, you've got a little bit of a value you know, range in here. You've got this level here. So you just mark up these ranges and, and these will act as our now our, our next target so you could look at these tp you know tp levels right something like that 30 minute chart you can see where these these levels occur all right down here under here that's another level yeah. just go back and have a look at the lows yeah. so the market you know if it's trending down will most likely you know react off these levels as such so i'm looking for a possible counter trend sell opportunity i, I prefer not to uh, I, I prefer to buy, but, you know, you could look for something like that. It's got to be a break of the low, retest and fail. That's got to happen. So that's number one, you know, and then there's a possible sell. After that, my point of interest for a buy is around the 50 to 61.8 fib. All right, so this is my POI, you know, buy area, potential get long. This is my point of interest here in terms of a possible entry, you know, but you're going to have to wait for price action to do exactly this. Well, here, here, look at this. See how we, we're seeing now lower highs and lower lows. Okay, lower, low, lower high, lower, low, lower high, lower, low, lower high, lower, low, right? Lower high, retest and fail right there. Bang, we get short. Down in here, I want to see something similar, however it works. But, you know, it's going to come down. It'll range sideways. That builds liquidity. And you know that bigger money is getting involved when it's ranging. You want to see a fake out, a bit of a shake out, and then it trades with speed. And that could be a cue. Wherever this occurs, it could happen here. It could happen under. It's the same thing as what we're seeing here. It's, it's all the same, guys. Look, change in character. These are the things to look for, ICT concepts and other concepts as well. And the break of structure, hmm, that would have to be down in here. All right, change of character would be there, something like that. All right, so then you look for the same thing here, a break above, change of character, break of structure, and then you get long. So there's the price action to look for. 
you're looking for the opposite down there. All right, guys, look, I mean, that's my take on uh, Bitcoin. Possible short, wait for the setup, and a possible buy opportunity. So you just have to have the ability to recognize when, when these setups are starting to occur. You want to see the momentum on multiple time frames short. You want to see the, the, the break of you know, character, structure, Everything aligns, then you go short, and then when you're buying, it's it's the same thing. Just keep it really simple, follow these rules, and you know you should come out on top at the end of the day. That's my take on Bitcoin. I would love your uh, comments on this. Definitely leave a comment below. That would be awesome. And with that, you know I hope you have a uh, a great day. Safe trading, and yeah, we'll see you in the next video.